Hey up there, welcome back. I did say that I was going to come out later in the afternoon, but unfortunately it absolutely lashed down. So this is around about midday the next day. I've got a lot in the basket already because quite a few of the real, real big porcinis that I picked yesterday, they were a little bit too far gone. They were starting to turn green underneath. They weren't very firm. So I'm going to scatter those around in likely looking places where there's plenty of leaf litter, you know, the, the right sort of trees and so on. And then hopefully in years to come, they'll produce even more fungi. I might have them all used up by the time I get to picking more good fungi, but we'll see. Who knows? Yesterday was crazy. Hopefully today there will be plenty. Well, in fact, I don't know why I'm saying that. I know there'll be plenty because I must have walked past about four kilos of them yesterday on my way out the wood. So we're definitely going to find something. Well, there must be a hell of a lot of deer in here because I've come to the first place that I can remember seeing a decent amount of fungi yesterday and the vast majority of them have been kicked over overnight by deer. So finding them is a little bit more difficult and most of them are smashed. Yeah, it's very soft that. Very soft. That one. It's mucky. They're very dry as well, but they're going to be dried out anyway. I'll take that, that's all right. God, there's an absolutely massive one down there. That'll no doubt be floppy and overripe, but we'll have a look. Yeah, it's very soft, very soft indeed. See why they're called penny bun? It almost just feels like bread. Too soft. There's a cap of one that's been kicked over, but there's not much else around here. Hmm. Oh no, there's one. Again, they've been kicked over. No, oh, there's two. So we've got one here. We'll scrape the muck off, it'll be all right. We've got another one here. Yeah, it's all right. It's been a bit nibbled. But it's okay. Another one being kicked over. I hope there's a decent one by the looks of things. Mm, yeah. I'm just wondering whether that rain last night has disintegrated some of these, you know, because they look they look knackered. That's how critical the time is, I think. You know, to seeing something and coming back and collecting it. What a bummer. Again, that one's not bad as well. It's been a little bit eaten, but it'll do. Alright, so I'm in another one of the areas where there was quite a lot yesterday. Some of the biggish ones are now massive. They're probably too far gone, especially with all the rain, but there is some smaller ones which look pretty good. So I'll harvest those. And the thing is, when you bend down, and then you kind of look across, you see more, you know, there's another three or four here. There's another one there. That's a beauty, that one. Look at that. Perfect. That's pretty good as well. That's a pretty good basket full already. You know, maybe a kilo and a half, two kilos of mushrooms. Very good. I'm just walking along this path here and it's very very dark in this part of the wood but there's just mushrooms all over the place there's a knackered one 
This one looks pretty good, although the, the top looks very dry. Ugh, no, I think the slugs and the worms have had that one. Very damp and dark in the bottom of here. The better ones were definitely further up on the bank side. Well, I'm on the other side of the valley now, in the pine woods, where we've got spruce, larch, Douglas, fir, a few Scots pine. And the ground here is actually pretty mossy. You might not look it on camera there, but it's quite mossy and quite spongy. You know, and there's obviously a lot of detritus underneath that. A lot of rotten logs and sticks and leaves and so on, but it will be quite acidic. And consequently, I found absolutely nothing. I must have gone about 200 yards in and I haven't seen one thing of interest. The wood's just dead. Hold on, what's that? Little puff balls. Very bonny. Look at that little spiny puff ball. Oh, hello. <laughs> just saying there's nothing of interest. If you were a Viking, these would very much be of interest. That's the fly agaric. And I hope the slugs and mice that have been eating that are having a good time. It's what the Vikings would eat. Well, they would eat it second hand, look into it. They would, um, <laughs> yeah, they would basically drink a concoction with that in. And it's got hallucinogenic properties. And to me, I'm thinking that's probably where a lot of the, the myths, or not so much myths, but stories of trolls and giants come from. Because the strange thing about that stuff is it, it has one of two effects. It either makes you feel really small, like a pixie, perhaps if you're feeling, you know, a, a little bit hard done to and you feel a bit persecuted, you might end up feeling really tiny if you'd eaten some of that. Or if you're feeling good about yourself, like the berserkers, and you mixed it with a bit of alcohol and you were full of bravado, you would feel like a giant. You'd wade into battle, probably naked, swinging a massive axe feeling 10 feet tall. Wow, that was a stroke of luck. Came off the path, because I saw this fella, which is probably salvageable, it's okay. And then I looked to my left, I saw that one, that one, and quite a few more up that way. So I'm gonna get these picked. They all seem to be relatively fresh as well. Little ones, you know, that's kind of what you want. You don't want the huge ones. The big ones look impressive, but they're not as good. Actually, <laughs> I almost put my basket down on one that I didn't even see when I came here. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful, that one. Now, there's hardly any of these lads have been bothered by the slugs or the mice. And that's because the bottom of the forest is totally covered in pine needles. That makes it pretty difficult for the slugs to travel compared to the, to the deciduous woodland where it's all just like leaves and big branches and rotten muck and earth and that, you know? That makes a hell of a difference in this. It's really tough as well. These are much better than they are on the other side of the valley. There's more of them on the other side of the valley, but these ones are far superior. I mean, you know, pick a kilo of those, any restaurant in the world is gonna snap your hand off. There you go. That's class, absolutely class. Lovely. So that's where we're at now. See, a lot of these ones have got much darker caps with them growing. Oh, look at that, man. With them growing in the pine woods. That's beautiful. There's so many nicer fungi than there was yesterday. You know, they're all like a better size over here. 
as I'm getting further into the wood, there's a lot of like really old stumps, which I don't know what they are. They look like hardwood stumps, so I think maybe it's a hardwood forest was felled here in order to put all these like cash crop softwood trees in. There's definitely something under the ground that's allowing these lads to grow because I've just walked into a really, really good bit. Check this out. God. It's absolutely heaving with them in here. <laughs> oh man. And you're not going to be able to see it, but it's like that all the way around here. Basically this whole area is absolutely full of them. I'll just take you over to the next bit. <laughs> Look at that. It's absolutely lifting with them. And the unfortunate thing is, I'm going to have the same problems yesterday. I'm going to run out of space in the basket. But these ones are going to be of a better quality than the ones I picked yesterday. I think instead of me fannying on talking to the camera, I'll just get down to business, pick the best of what I can see here, and I think I might just leave the rest. Why take them? You know, if they're too big or too eaten, there's no point. I'll just get the best ones. And there's a lot of good ones. Well, there's way more than I can fit into my basket. I mean, there must be hundreds of them just in this one area. I mean, I'll just spin the camera around, let you have a look. Unbelievable. Look at all of them, man. It's absolutely jumping with them. Absolutely everywhere. <laughs> God. And as I say, that goes on for this whole area. I haven't even been over there yet. There might not be any over there, but I mean this this whole area, follow my finger. All of that area, just full of them. And God, the size of this. At first when I saw this I thought it was a blooming plastic bag or something. But here's some that have just gone huge. And then look at that man. Absolutely massive the size of my foot. Huge. There's just so many perfect ones as well. You know, there's just so many. There must be hundreds of kilos in here. Even where I've put this basket down. Look at that man. It's one there. One there, one there. A nice big one in the background there. Oh, man, they're just all over. Absolutely, there's another one there. I was motivated by money. I think I'd bring a wheelbarrow up and just fill the wheelbarrow, then go around all the, the fancy restaurants and the Italian joints and see if they wanted to buy them. And I'm sure they would. But these are going to be dried out and I'm going to save them for use during the winter. I may give some away to people as well, you know. You see now, like that, well, you probably have, if you're watching this video, you've probably watched other videos like in Poland and Ukraine and all that, where people are finding mad amounts of them. But it's pretty rare in the UK, and this area is an absolute belter. This is getting marked with a big red X on the map. That's amazing, just behind me, where it's a little bit lighter, that's where the mad Porcini Holocaust was. And over on this side, you know, just a few meters away, there's absolutely nothing. Really strange, you know, the conditions are very similar, but it's just that bit darker. 
and there's just nothing under here. That's not to say they won't pop up here. It could just be that they haven't popped up yet. You know, they could come a little bit later with it being a little bit drier in here, a little bit more enclosed and a little bit darker. Well, because the basket is stupid full again, as you can see, look at that. <laughs> uh, it's back to the car time. I've got other things to do this afternoon, but I will dehydrate some of these. And then, actually, I'll, do, I'll dehydrate the ones from yesterday, if they'll all fit in the dehydrator. And then when I dehydrate these ones, I'll make a video of the process so you can see how much they reduce in volume because it, it really is it's quite phenomenal and you can just store them basically as long as you want you know what's that is that one? Oh yeah there's one there that's the first one I found in this area oh hello there's one over there look at that looks in pretty good Nick yeah, it's still solid. That's still nice. Unfortunately, it won't fit in my basket. So I'll leave that along with his thousands of buddies. Thanks for watching. And if it's your first time here, you might want to consider hitting the thumbs up button. Let me know I'm on the right track. And if you've checked the other videos out and you think I'm worth subscribing to, by all means, subscribe and hit the bell because then you'll be informed of new uploads. See you next time.